welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my trainer collection video this is a bit of a random video um, i've not filmed anything like this before um, but it came to my attention that i have quite a growing collection of trainers and i thought i would share them with you guys i thought i would talk you through them i'm not quite at that stage where i have enough handbags to do a handbag collection video so i thought let's start off with trainers now about 18 months ago i think i had like one pair of nice trainers and one pair of like grubby trainers for the gym um, and that was about it i don't really wear trainers that often or if i did i just had that one pair that i kept going back to and yeah over the last like a year or so i've become so obsessed with good quality trainers and designer trainers and I've built up quite a lovely collection. Um, I love them all, I wear them all so much. I'm really excited to share them with you. You've probably seen them all before um, over my channel in various different videos, but I'm actually gonna talk through them properly um, and give you as much information as I can. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs to share with you today. Um, all different price points, um, some very high end, some more lower end and more affordable and kind of all different styles as well. We've got chunky trainers, we've got more of like a tennis shoe. Um, there's something in here for everyone. So my first ever pair of designer trainers were the Alexander McQueen, I don't know what they're called, but you know which ones I mean with the chunky sole. Um, and I had the blue or navy suede back. Um, and I loved them, I really loved them, I wore them to death, I've still got them actually, um, but I just don't wear them anymore, they just don't suit my style, I feel like they're absolutely everywhere now, which a lot of these trainers are that I'm going to show you today, but those ones I just feel they don't fit my style anymore, hence why I'm not showing them in this video, but yeah, very soon after that I bought another pair of designer trainers, um, which are the ones that I'm going to show you first. Okay, so the first pair, I'm going to go in order of when I bought these. So the first pair I'm starting off with, the ones I've had the longest, and excuse the battered box, but these are my Balenciaga Triple S trainers. They're still in really, really good condition. Um, these are the ones that I've got. This is the colorway. They're kind of like white and gray with this kind of like transparent gel sole. I feel like these are a very much a love or hate kind of item. Um, I love them. I think they're great. I feel like the trend is kind of done now. I wouldn't buy them again now, but I'm very pleased that I bought them when I did. It was probably about a year and a half ago that I purchased these. And even then when I bought them, I thought, oh, is it a bit late? I still do wear them now, not as much admittedly as I would like to um, because when I first got these, these were like my first and only pair of designer trainers so I just wore them to death. Now obviously I have a few more to choose from so they don't quite get the wear that they deserve but I do absolutely love them. They're extremely chunky, I can't drive in them. If I'm wearing these somewhere where I'm driving, then I have to drive in different shoes because they're just so clumpy. I paid £695 for them, and in my eyes, they were worth the price because of the amount that I've worn them. What have you got? Oh my gosh, you've got my scrunchie. You're just gonna have to chew it because I can't get up. I'm surrounded by boxes. The main thing I love about these is the sole. I think the sole is really, really cool with the Balenciaga in at the bottom. They're not a subtle trainer at all. I think they're quite a statement, so I tend to wear them just with simple outfits, just like with black leggings and a black hoodie for like an errands day. I think they also look great with blue denim, especially in this colorway, and the cream and beige ones as well look great with blue denim. They're a great trainer. I love them, um, and I'm very pleased that I bought them. I actually sized down in these. I got a size 37, which is a size four and I typically set, take a size five. Um, ideally I would have liked a 37 and a half but obviously they don't do half sizes but these ones still fit fine and they're really comfortable. They did take some breaking in, it took about a week or so of wearing them um, for them to be really truly comfortable. Now I find them really comfortable, I can wear them all day long. They are heavy, they're a heavy trainer um, so they do take some getting used to but now they're absolutely fine and I still love them. Um, I just wish that I wore them more. Right, so next up I have this pair of trainers from Axel Arigato and my boyfriend actually introduced me to this brand. I, last summer, was looking for um, a pair of New Balance trainers, um, the ones that everyone has. I don't know the model of them, but when you see these trainers you'll see the similarities. Um, yeah, I was looking for those New Balance trainers and I looked everywhere and they didn't have my size, they were sold out, so I thought, right, let me try and find an alternative, and I found these marathon runners from Axel Arigato. 
Now these are filthy. I feel quite embarrassed actually showing you these um, because I wore them on a walk the other day and they got really muddy. I should have cleaned them. But you can tell how loved they are and how much I wear them by the state of them. Um, they're still in fairly good quality. I'm sure once I give them a scrub, they'll come up quite nicely. But I adore these trainers. These are so comfortable. I didn't have to break these in at all. First wear, they were really, really comfy. I just love the style of them. Kind of like that dad trainer style. I bought these last summer and I wore them non-stop. They literally go with everything. They're the perfect summer trainer. You can wear these with little dresses because they're not too clumpy. They also look great with denim shorts, with blue jeans, with leggings. They are just perfect. I absolutely love them. Um, and I would buy them again in a heartbeat right now. They've not gone out of style at all. In fact, I see so many people still buying this exact model now. And I feel like I'm gonna keep wearing them for a very long time to come. So I got these direct from the Axel Arigato website and I paid 200 pounds for them, which at the time I was like, oh, that's a lot of money for like a brand that I haven't really heard of. But Axel Arigato is actually such a great brand. They do so many amazing colorways of these particular trainers and so many other trainers as well that I absolutely love. So I am so pleased that I got these and I still continue to reach for them constantly and they were well worth the money as well in my opinion and I just took my normal size a size 5 and they fit perfectly so the next pair of trainers I have are the first of um, two pairs of New Balance and these are the only pair of trainers that I have without a box actually these are the New Balance uh, 574 yeah 574 um and these are the ones from the junior section so these are the kids ones so they might look a little bit different to the adult version that i have linked but i got these direct from the new balance website and i had an absolute steal um, because they had some sizes left. I got these in a five and a half. Yes, I got these in a five and a half because that's all they had. They were, I think, £45 full price and then New Balance had some kind of offer or sale on. So I actually paid £25 for these trainers and 100% it was worth it, even if I only wore them a few times because £25 for some New Balance trainers pretty much unheard of. I love these. I always wear them with tracksuits. They're so comfy. They are a little bit big. My true size, size five, would have definitely fitted me better. Um, but I still love them. I wear them constantly. They've kept really nicely as well. They look super clean. They don't look like they've been worn hardly at all. I will link the women's version of these um, from the New Balance website. There's some sizes left. Um, I think they are about £75. So again, kind of on the more affordable side for um, a pair of trainers. I will let you know if they ever come back in stock in the junior section. It's always worth a check if you do have slightly smaller feet. I didn't even think my feet were that small, size five. I thought that was pretty average, but it's always worth looking in the junior section to see if you can pick anything up because it is just that little bit cheaper. Okay, now we're at the big guns. Chanel. So these trainers were my first purchase from Chanel. I have bought from Chanel Beauty before. These are my first kind of big Chanel purchase. They are the most expensive trainers in my collection and they are 100% worth it. Um, I treated myself to these for my birthday last year and I don't regret it for a second. So I originally wanted these trainers in a different colorway. I wanted them in the white and navy and they were literally sold out everywhere. I went through so many different personal shoppers um, and nobody could get hold of them for me. Um, and then I went to a personal shopper called Tailored Styling and they managed to source these for me in this colorway, which I actually think was kind of like a bit of a happy accident. We had a little bit of serendipity going on and I think that it worked out for the best. So this is the colorway that we have here. As you can see, they are mostly black and gray, which I think actually works out better for me because this sock part here on the original colorway that I wanted was white. And I was remember thinking to myself, I've got to try and keep that so clean. And with the black, it just makes it so much easier. They're not gonna look as dirty. And I love black. Black is a brilliant color. Obviously I wear it constantly. I've got it on today. And I just adore the shape of these trainers. I've really tried to keep them nice. Obviously the quality is reflected in the price. I adore 
this suede bit here around the tongue. This black kind of plastic here makes them really easy to clean. Little Chanel there on the front and then the clear Chanel on the side. Really nice and subtle. And of course the CC on the front. I just absolutely adore them. I think they're beautiful, beautiful trainers. Such a nice subtle shape as well. Especially the first two trainers that I showed you are very chunky, very clumpy. These ones are really lightweight, super easy to wear. I wear these with tracksuits, I wear them with, I've worn them with dresses, with shorts, with jeans, they literally go with everything. Um, and yeah, absolutely adored them. So as I mentioned, Tailored Styling sourced them for me and obviously I had to pay a bit extra. I think most resale on them was about a thousand pounds and I paid, I think 1,200 for these. So they were very, very expensive, but 100% worth it. And they are an item that I will have in my collection for a very, very, very long time. Um, probably something that I'll keep forever and maybe even pass down to my children one day. It's just something that I really wanted to treat myself to um, and I'm very, very glad that I did. I don't regret it at all. Right, next up we have a pair of veggies which I only got recently, a couple of months ago, and these were kindly sent to me by a brand called All Soul, who stock lots of different footwear brands, and yeah, they very kindly sent me these. And I've been kind of umming and ahhing about getting a pair of veggies for a couple of years now. My mum has some that she got um, a couple of years ago, I think, and she wears them all the time, and they look really cool, but I didn't know if they were really my style but then I kind of realized that my trainer collection was missing something like this something just plain white kind of tennis shoe subtle not too chunky and that is what we've gone for here so these are the v12 obviously in all white and I love them they've got the v here on both sides and then the vegger at the back so these are all leather so they're great quality kind of hard to break in um, I've worn them a few times and they did rub a little bit, not straight away, it's only like as the day's gone on where I've had them on for a long time that they have started to rub a bit. But I'm sure that they will get more and more comfy the more that I wear them. I really really love these trainers, they're nice and subtle, they're, I don't wear them as often as my more trend led trainers. I find these go better with a more sophisticated outfit when I want like a smarter trainer. These are definitely that smarter kind of more classic vibe that sometimes they do go for. They look great with tailored trousers. They look brilliant with mum jeans, especially blue denim. I don't think you can go wrong with like that classic white shirt blue denim jeans and a white trainer, especially in the spring. It's a brilliant look. These are 115 pounds and yeah, they're just a beautiful trainer and I love them. I really love the subtleness of them. Obviously, Vegger come in a lot of different colorways, so there's probably something for everyone on there. Right, so I said that there were two pairs, two, that's four, two pairs of New Balance and now we are on to the second pair. So I got these very recently, probably about three weeks, maybe a month ago, and these are a pair that I've been after for the longest time. I wanted them last year um, and they went out of stock really quickly. I wasn't on it enough to pick them up when they were in stock and I kept checking and then eventually I just kind of gave up and then I saw a few weeks ago that they were back in stock on the New Balance website so I picked them up and I'm so glad that I did. Um, I did think to myself at the time because I had just bought the pair that I'm about to show you but they hadn't arrived yet and I thought to myself there's no way I can buy another pair of trainers. That's really silly. And then I thought, no, I wanted these last year and they've just come back to stock in stock. I've waited a year for them, so I might as well get them. And they are these New Balance. They're the 990 V50, I think they're called. And I just adore them. I love the color, I love the gray, I love the shape of them. I think they're really, really cool. I love wearing these with tracksuits. Um, I wore these with a white tracksuit the other day and they look really nice, great for traveling. They also look brilliant with jeans and a blazer. They're just super chic and a really great trainer. Um, they're very similar to, let me just show you the comparison. They're quite similar to the 574, obviously similar color, different shape admittedly, but as these only cost me 25 pounds, I thought, you know, if I end up reaching for these more than these, it's not the end of the world. I still have been wearing them both and I really like both of them. Um, these, the quality is definitely reflected in the price. You can tell that these are um, a cheaper shoe as opposed to these ones. They are made much more like a designer trainer 
rather than a sportswear trainer and I adore them. I don't work out in any of these trainers. These are purely just kind of fashion items. Occasionally I'll go on a walk in them, but I have a separate pair of grubby old manky trainers that I work out in. But yeah, these ones I absolutely adore. They are definitely one of my favorite pairs. They were 180 pounds, quite expensive, I think for a pair of New Balance. Well, actually most of them are around 200 pounds or 100 pounds, but um, yeah, the higher end of a New Balance trainer, but in comparison to some of the other trainers that I have here on the more affordable side. Now these, again, are kind of hard to come across. As soon as I got them, I did post the link quite a lot on my Instagram, so hopefully if you did want them, you managed to pick them up. There are a few sizes left on the New Balance website, so I will link them down below. So hopefully you can get your hands on them, but always worth checking like Depop or eBay because people are always selling stuff like this. Um, but just kind of at a markup, so something to be aware of. Yeah, I absolutely love these, and I think I'll be keeping them for a very long time. Well, actually, I think I'll be keeping all of these for a very long time, um, and that is something that I love about all of these trainers, and just trainers in general. They are something that I know that I am always going to be wearing. On to the last pair of trainers. So these are the last pair of trainers. They are from Dior. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen them. Um, and as I said, I purchased these just before I purchased the New Balance. And I thought to myself, are you gonna wear them? Are you not gonna wear them? But I'd wanted them for a really, really long time. Um, so I just bit the bullet and went for it. And I'm really glad that I did because I've worn them so, so much since. And they're a really, really good um, spring trainer. So you probably guess what they are. It's these ones, they are the Dior B23 or B23 sneakers, high top sneakers. Um, I love them. I've wanted these for ages. I think they go so nicely with so many things. I was kind of worried about the material and getting them dirty, but I don't know how well you can see, but they're kind of coated in this plastic. They're quite easy to wipe and they're really sturdy and they're not like a flimsy cotton. So I think they should be quite easy to clean. I've already worn them so much already and got the soles quite dirty and um, I wanted to keep them fresh and clean for a long time but I just couldn't resist putting them on and they go with every single outfit. So this part here is kind of see-through. I don't know how well you can see but you can kind of see my hand in there and then it's kind of like this patchwork effect with the Dior symbol and then the little kind of Dior sticker on the side. So really beautiful trainer. These kind of look blue I think um, but they are actually it says on the website they're black and white and if you look closer you can see that they are black and white I think just because of the pattern it looks kind of like they're like a bluey gray kind of color so I just took my normal size in these and they fit really nicely a size 5 it does say on the website just to take your normal size so that's what I did um, I think it equated to a size 40 though because um, Obviously, do you all use French sizing? So I am size five, I think I've said. These do come in lots of different styles and shapes and colors as well. If you're after the low rise ones or a different colorway, there's quite a few to choose from. Um, in terms of price, these were expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you. These were 820 pounds, I think, 825 pounds. 850 pounds they were, I just checked, which is a lot of money for a pair of trainers. You can probably get some cheaper alternatives, a similar shape to Converse, so a pair of Converse would work equally as well. But I really love these and I'm very excited to be wearing them throughout spring and summer this year. They are definitely my go-to spring summer trainer. So that is everything. That is my complete trainer collection. I have a few grubby ones that I'm not going to be showing you today. And sorry about my Axel Regato ones. I really didn't realize they were that muddy still. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video, something a little bit different. Let me know if there are any other kind of collections that you want to see from me. I did film Blazer collection a little while ago, but that has changed a bit, so maybe you want an updated version of that. Let me know in the comments down below which pair of trainers are your favorite. And if you guys have your eye on any trainers that you are wanting right now, let me know because I might want them too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. And I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.